We have an update now on Amy Copeland, the Georgia woman who barely survived a rare flesh-eating bacteria last year. As NBC's Gabe Gutierrez explains now, she has hit a milestone in her recovery. For Amy Copeland, life is about to change. What do you think? Exciting. Again. Sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is my life. <laughs> this is crazy. That life already attracted international attention. The zipline accident where she contracted a flesh-eating bacteria. The amazing recovery after losing her hands and feet. What's been the biggest difference? Well, you know, before I was a very, very active person. So that's probably the biggest difference is just my activity level. But now, a year later, her journey has brought her here. Touch Bionics near Columbus, Ohio. All right, so are you ready? Yeah, I'm so okay. excited. It looks great. Amy's being fitted for these prosthetic hands. She'll be the first <laughs> woman ever to use the state-of-the-art models on both arms. It's almost like a muscle memory with these things. You know, it's like you got to find that sweet spot and be able to just pick things up naturally. And that'll come with time. Until then, she's relearning old skills. The first time you close, it's just going to lock these fingers and your thumb around that. Oh! <laughs> After just a few days with her new hands, Amy is already writing her name. <laughs> I love it. Styling her hair. Yeah. Works. Mm, nice. And putting on jewelry. All right. <laughs> Successful after um, some help. It's not always easy. <laughs> there you go. Success? <laughs> kind of. Uh, uh, attempt number one. But success comes with practice. <laughs> awesome. Things like a handshake become familiar once again. Very good. Don't squeeze too hard now. No. There are things that she's done in two days, three days, that it takes other people six months or a year to figure out how to gain control over these devices. She'll control her new hands with the help of an app on her iPad. You can toggle between 24 different grip modes. The bionic hands are normally $100,000 a piece. Amy will now serve as a spokesperson for the company. So she's getting them for free. I'm really looking forward to cooking with these, um, cleaning my house. I'm sort of OCD, so it seems kind of a weird thing to want to do, but I really want to clean much better. This month, she's finishing her master's degree in psychology. After that, she plans to start on a second master's degree in social work. Sometimes, honestly, I look at pictures of how I was before, and I feel almost disconnected from that person. And so, in a way, it almost feels like I died a year ago and I was reborn as someone different. A new perspective in good hands. <laughs> For today, Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Hilliard, Ohio.